Hey everyone, this is Stefan from Project Life Mastery, and today I'm excited to share with you a method of selling on Amazon that most people have never heard of. It's a way that you can get started making money on Amazon that doesn't require as much money, as much time, and as much risk as other traditional ways of selling on Amazon. And it's a fantastic way that you can make a great side income or even a full-time income if you really commit yourself to it. And so for the last 10 plus years here on Project Life Mastery, I've been involved in selling on Amazon. I've explored many different opportunities. I've brought on many different guests and many different people that have programs uh, to really find the best ways that people can make money online, myself included. And so uh, I've been committed to that for a long time and I understand a big part of my audience. They're always looking for opportunities. They're always wanting to know what's new and what's fresh and what are ways that they can make money in order to change their life and create the lifestyle that they really desire. And so with this method, it's different than other ways that I've traditionally shared here on Project Life Mastery. I've noticed that with many other opportunities, there could be barriers to entry that prevent people from getting started. And of course, if you don't take action, you're not going to succeed. And so what I've been really impressed by with this method is the success rate in comparison to some of the other ways that you can make money, not just on Amazon, but just making money online in general. Um, for example, the private label model, which is a great model, and you can really make significant sums of money uh, with, I've noticed that the barriers of entry in terms of the amount of money that's involved to get started, the months that it can take in order to source a product, and the number of steps that are involved. It can be quite intimidating for someone, especially if they're brand new uh, to selling on Amazon. And so uh, with this method, I, for example, my friend Stephen Summers, who I'm going to introduce you guys to here in a moment, you know, he's shared many different opportunities and is more in the trenches um, than I'm right now on Amazon because I'm in a different stage of my life. But he's someone that I trust and someone that has a lot of data as someone who's in the trenches, actually doing this stuff, but also coaching, mentoring, and helping people succeed in many different ways of selling on Amazon. And so I've been really impressed by the results that he's been able to get with his students doing this method in comparison to, for example, private labeling. And so um, I've been getting back into the scene. I've been, you know, interviewing and reaching out to my contacts and my network to kind of find out the latest on the landscape of Amazon is. And uh, he shared some things with me that are really powerful and something that I just feel like I need to share, especially for those that are in the position of being a, maybe a newbie or somebody that, you know, doesn't have a lot of experience, but they want to get started. They want to make money. They want to change their life. You've got that hunger, that motivation, and uh, this could be a great fit. So that's why I wanted to share this. Now, this method is known as Amazon wholesaling, and it does require a level of explanation. It does require um, somebody to actually give you examples of it. And so uh, my friend Steven, Steven Summers from Marketplace Superheroes, he volunteered to create a video training here on Project Life Mastery. Uh, he's gonna share his screen. He's gonna give you some examples and show you this method. And then also um, we recorded a separate interview that's gonna be released after that. And uh, in this interview, I pick his brain, ask him a whole variety of questions about this so that you can learn more about it. And so uh, I'm excited to share this with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and uh, I'll let Steven take it away from here. And then I'll be back at the end to share with you some next steps. So Steven, take it away. We're gonna get right into it today and we're gonna show you how we find wholesale opportunities on Amazon. We're gonna talk about the wholesale model in general. So the first thing I wanna mention is before we actually go in and do the research, what are we looking to do here? We're looking to find already successful brands and already su successful products from those brands, well-known household items. And we are simply looking to see if other sellers are selling them if they are, we're gonna research those items and see, is it possible for us to potentially take a slice of the sales and profits of these items on Amazon? And let's start out by going to amazon.com, right? I like to put in a address here of being in the US. If you're in the US, you can put in your own zip code. I just put in 90210, just cause I do. And that means that Amazon is saying, you're looking for items, you're living in America, so we're gonna show it to you as if you're living in the States, which is important for the research we're gonna do. Now, what I like to do is go over here to the hamburger menu and click that button. And this is gonna give you lots of different options, the best sellers, new releases, all of that. We just want to scroll down to the shop by department area. This is going to give us the categories in Amazon. These are called categories right here. And we can click see all and it's gonna show us even more categories that are available on Amazon. Now, if we click into, let's just say the toys, kid and baby, kids and baby, 
This is going to now show us what we call subcategories. And then we have sub subcategories as well, because Amazon's job is to try and categorize everything as best as possible so that it's easy to find in this huge catalog. But if we just click toys and games, we are now going to go into the toys and games category on amazon.com. On, on the left hand side, this is going to show you even more subcategories you can go into. We're not going to go into those just for now. We're simply going to scroll down below and we're going to change this. And we're going to say we want average customer reviews of four stars and up because we don't want to sell stuff that's not well reviewed. We want stuff that's going to be easy to sell and it's going to work for us. It's not going to get returns and stuff like that, ideally. Now, the next thing we want to do is change the price here. We want to move this price to a minimum of about $10. And then we want to move it to a maximum of, I would just say about $70, $80 is fine. That range is totally cool. And you can move it down like less expensive if you want. Why is that important? Because the items we're going to end up buying from wholesale distributors, these are companies located domestically that will have these items in stock. We would just want to make sure we're not selling stuff that's got a high cost price. Now, if it does, that can be okay. But if we're selling something that's say a $300 item, it's gonna be quite expensive to buy that. So if we go in this range of 10 to $80, we're gonna see items that are mostly not gonna be that expensive to buy. And remember, I'm just showing you the basics today. We will have a bigger training coming for you. We're gonna go into even more detail. We have now recategorized this whole area based upon four stars and up and in that 10 to $80 price range. Now here's the next thing we're gonna do. There's a tool here called DS Amazon Quick View. I'm just showing it to you here on Google Chrome. That is something you're gonna to wanna to install. It's totally free to do it. We have another tool that we use called Hero Launchpad. This is our tool. I'm not gonna cover it in detail today, but you will see it. But for now, don't worry too much about that. Just get DS Amazon Quick View and you can install that totally for free. Why are we doing that? It's gonna give us this information here where we can see what's called the bestseller rank. That means uh, how well this item is selling in this category. So this is number one in toys and games. So it is the number one best selling item in the toys and games category. And just to show you, this item sold 70,000 plus in the last month, which is unreal. I'm gonna actually just open that up just for a bit of fun. Uh, that's an incredible amount of items sold. And anyway, you're gonna see 6,121. That's the 6,121 best-selling item in the toys and games category. The closer you get to number one, the more sales it makes. And obviously, if you get beyond that, it's going to make less sales. We're going to go up to about 50,000 in the category at a bit of max. That's what we would want to see. If something was beyond that, it's probably just not making enough sales. But let's just actually go into this Mr. Sketch item just for a sec. Number one for a bit of fun, but number two to show you some important stuff. So when you go in here, this will not be there. What you're gonna see is the different options that you can buy. And actually it looks like it's out of stock at the moment. It looks like it is according to this. Um, but what we can do is we can use Hero Launchpad. You don't need to install this right now. I just wanna show you what it can do. But this will actually give us the amount of sales an item is making. So we click the scanner function here. It's just gonna load up and it's gonna tell us the monthly revenue and how many units are sold. So this is doing $914,000 in monthly revenue and there's 76,000 units sold. So that's that's incredible. So that's what Hero Launchpad can do. We're, we're gonna go come back to that in a few minutes time because this is quite important for when we're doing our research. But anyway, what you're gonna see is this on screen. There's gonna be nothing else here. Uh, usually, I'll go into another listing in a second. We're gonna see a buy box here, but uh, that's not available right now because it looks like this is probably out of stock because it's just selling like absolutely crazy right now. So I'll jump out of this because it's not a great example. We'll go into a, a slightly better one. What we want to see here, by the way, with DS Amazon Quick View, is BSR is important, but what's even more important is this area here where we can see two FBA sellers. If we see more than one seller, that's going to give us a clue. This could be an item we may be able to buy at wholesale from an, a distributor located domestically, and we might be able to sell that exact same item. I'm gonna go into a listing and just explain more, that, more about that. Look at this item here, right? It's a Lego item. It's got eight plus FBA sellers and it's the number 12 in toys and games. Let's click into that and look at the buy box and a few other key things that are really important on Amazon. Okay, so first things first, you can see the price point is 29.25 and you can see this area down here, ships from Amazon, that's where it's being shipped out of, sold by HCO Global. 
So HCO Global are a seller just like you and me, third party seller. And they're the one right now at the time of recording this that has access to this area here called the buy box. People that are in the buy box and currently HCO Global are in the buy box because it says sold by them. If somebody wants to buy this Lego item, Ashes Cottage, when they come in here and they click buy now, HCO Global are going to be credited with that sale because they're in the buy box. Now, there are other sellers down here. You can click this and it'll show you. There are other people trying to sell this exact same item at the same time. So these are new and you can filter these. We'll just go by uh, Prime at the moment just to see. That basically will suggest that people are using FBA because if the Prime badge is there, it means either Amazon are shipping it out or a third party seller is shipping it out, right? So you can see G JPH products. They're selling it and it's shipped from Amazon and it's brand new in condition. Same thing goes here, flipping the pages LLC, right? Amazon, the ship, it's, it's been shipped from Amazon, sold by them. And you can see their prices are different, right? See that, 29.95, 25, 27.96, etc. Why is that important? Well, because on Amazon, there's only one, this is what we call a listing, there's only one listing of this Ashes Cottage on Amazon. And why that's critical is because as the day goes on, the person who is selling this and who is in the buy box is going to change. And why will it change? Well, if you're competitively priced, 29.25, and you're using Amazon shipping service, Amazon will just switch this as the day goes on. Different people will be the seller, It'll take a little while sometimes. We'll try to just refresh it and see if there's a change, but it probably won't. Yeah, no, it hasn't changed in the time that we're here. But as the day goes on, it will change. Why will it change? Because other people will try to sell this exact item at a similar price. And if they're doing that and they're using FBA, they will get a slice of the sales and profits of this item. Now, if we want to know how much revenue this item is producing, you can't see that as standard on Amazon. So you'll need to use a tool like Hero Launchpad DS Amazon Quick View is not designed for that, by the way, but Hero Launchpad is. This is a tool that we operate. You don't need to buy it today. We'll talk about you know, how you can get access to it another time. But you can click the scanner function and it's gonna do what we showed you just a few minutes ago where it's gonna scan and tell you the approximate revenue and how many units is sold of this item per month. So it's nearly a half a million dollars and 16,000 units. Why is that important? Well, there's another really cool thing that Hero Launchpad does with our wholesale research tools. And it just loads this up on the screen. And the reason it's important is, well, many reasons. Number one, if we scroll down here, right, we're gonna see all the different sellers who are trying to sell this exact same item. We're gonna see what they're using. Are they using FBA? Are they shipping it themselves? So see FBM, that means fulfillment by merchants. So Sunshine Shopper are shipping this out themselves. Whereas this company here, Flipping the Pages, who we saw a minute ago, they're using Amazon shipping service, right? It'll tell you the price that they're looking to sell at and it'll tell you the stock that they have. This company, JPH Products, are selling for $27.50 and they have three units left in stock, right? The current seller is the HCO Global, right? Selling for $29.25 and they've got one in stock. So this will rotate as the day goes on because these two companies here are selling for slightly less than HCO Global. Now the goal with this model, by the way, is not just to keep undercutting people. That's a bad practice. The better practice is to do what these companies have done. Look, they're just matching that same price and they know throughout the day they're gonna pick up sales as the day goes on. Now you might be wondering, well, why are JPH products not just in the buy box? Number one, they may well be as the day goes on, but number two, they have 94 ratings, whereas HCO Global have a thousand ratings. So a thousand different customers have bought something from HCO Global, probably shipped by Amazon, and then people have got the items and then they've given feedback to say, I got the items in great condition, everything was great. And it will be in great condition because Amazon are the ones shipping it out when you're using their, their fulfillment services. So that's the model really. The goal for us is to go and get products like this, from a distributor, get access to it, and then simply match the buy box price and use fulfillment by Amazon. When we do that, we will pick up a share of the sales and profits of these kinds of items. Now this item that we're looking at, this is a massive seller. I mean, it's doing a half a million dollars a month. That is a considerable amount of money, obviously. And so you would have to look at this then and say, well, how many sales of this could I possibly make? 
So the way we do that actually is we use the wholesale research tools again. We come down here just to show you. We scroll down. We see all these different people. What, what are we looking to do? We're looking to see who's competitively priced. So at 29.25, we come right down. So this, this is the difference, right? I would say right down to about here, Shop Trendy, these top 10, these are all competitively priced because they're in and around that 29.25. Now these are selling for 27.50, which is obviously competitive because it's less than 29.25. But we'll come all the way down here. When we get here, we're kind of getting away. We're getting slightly away, but you could say the top 10, top 11, if you want, are competitive. However, they're not all using FBA. So one, two, three are not using FBA. Therefore, we take 11, take away three, we're at eight. So there's eight strong competitors. You might say there's a bit more, because actually, to be fair, these are there. So eight, let's call it nine, because they're, they're FBM as well. Nine competitors are trying to sell this item. As we saw, the monthly revenue of this item was 468,000. So here's what we want to do, right? We want to take our 468,000, two, three. We want to divide that. Now we said nine competitive sellers, I think it was. With us, if we were getting access to this, we would be 10, right? So we divide that by 10. And that would be if everybody got an equal share of that buy box. If you had, I suppose, infinite stock, that's how much you could do in monthly revenue with that one item, which, is crazy because when you think about it, it's selling for, let's just call it $29 just for easy calculation. You might need like 1600 units just to sell a month's worth of stock for something like that, which is obviously massive. And that's why oftentimes when we're launching with our wholesale business, some of these items can be great, but also they can be a problem because they're just doing too much revenue. But at its core, that's what we're looking to do. We're not looking to dominate. We're just looking to get a slice of the sales and profits of this item on Amazon. Very, very simple. Now you might be wondering, well, how can I calculate how much money I might make? That's another great question. Again, we use the wholesale research tool in order to calculate that. So inside the research tools, we have the profit calculator. We know it's selling for $29.25. Currently, that's what the buy box, that's what's winning in the buy box. I'm just gonna throw in a made up number here. I'm not saying you could buy it for this, but let's say you could buy it for $8. I'm just picking a, a random, let's actually put it to 12. So let's say we were able to buy this for $12 and get it delivered for $12. What the tool will do is it'll take the sales price, it'll take away the cost of goods sold, so that's how much it's gonna cost us to buy it and get it delivered. And then we have the Amazon fee of $10.28. If you hover over this, you can see why. We've got FBA fees of $5.77, that is fees associated with shipping out the item. Referral fee of $4.39, that's Amazon's commission for selling the item. Then we have our storage, and you can see different times of the year, how much the storage is gonna be per unit. So not very much money at all, right? And that's per, per month. And that's kind of tricky because like you're gonna sell out of inventory, it's gonna move around all the time. So storage is not something to spend too much time thinking about really. It's not that big of a deal, uh, but that's just to give you a feel for what that, that might look like. So anyway, when we do our calculations, it would tell us throughout January to September, if we bought this for $12 and we sold it for $29.25 after all of our fees, we would make a net profit of $6.97. It's a margin of 24% and an ROI of 58%. Now, I don't know if we can buy it for that much. Let's just make it even, let's just say we could buy it for $16. Actually, let's go 14. Just to kind of change it up a little bit. So that would be a $5 profit if we bought it for 14. Now, the ROI is the thing I like to look at because that's telling us our return on our original investment. So on our $14, we're gonna grow that by 35% every time we make a sale. That's great. And we ideally want to be making an ROI in wholesale of anywhere from 20%, but I suppose at the lower end 15 to 30% or more. That's where we like to be. You know, it's up to you because some items might be really expensive. And so even though the ROI might be a little bit lower, the cash, what you put in your pocket in cash might be like 10 bucks a sale or something. You might quite like that. So it all depends what you what you want and what your risk levels and tolerance levels look like. And we'll talk about risk in ju uh, just a second, by the way, because it's very low. But really what we're seeing here is, okay, well, we would grow our money by 35% if we bought this for $14. To me, that's great. It's in, exactly in line with what we would want. And we would try to find a supplier. And to do that, there's many different ways. 
And I'm just showing you one way we find opportunities, by the way, today. We have many more. But you can go to Google and you could simply type in uh, Lego Wholesale Distributor uh, USA. You can do that. We search this and we're going to see a lot. We're going to see Lego official, which, you know, that's not going to be for us. And so anyway, look, here's here's just an example, right? Look at this. Toy House LLC. I am not saying you should go and buy from this company. I'm just showing you. Look, Lego exclusive wholesale partner, US and Canada. That sounds like someone we should consider. So you can look at the products that they carry. I'll just open it up here in a new tab and uh, you can see it's all Lego stuff. So that is like a direct matching thing. This would be a company we definitely would want to speak to. We would want to try and open an account with, and they may not open an account with us, right? But this would be a good example. They got authentic products. You can order online. So that's great. So how do you do it? Well, you apply to become a customer US and Canada. Let's just click here. And then it's going to give us a big form. We've got to fill in this information and answer all of these different questions. Obviously, there's a lot here that they're asking. And so this, this company here, we may not be successful. And I'm just like, imagine, and I've never heard of this company before I have, but just to say that's what we would do. So here's other ones here, uh, Minifigure Madness. So we could open them up, Fun Express, we could look at them. But we're kind of looking for more of this type of thing, RDG Wholesale and Distributor. These are the kinds of words that really do suggest they could be good. And I kind of like as well when I see a website like this that doesn't look like the best website in the world, you know? They sometimes, so even there, look, uh, wholesale and distributor, sold merchandise for over 15 years to customers. So like lots of good direct matching keywords there. They've got a place in the US and in Canada. They look interesting. We can also see the brands that they're holding. So look at this, right? They're holding lots of different brands, not just Lego. They got Star Wars, they got loads. So why this would be a good company? is because they have a lot of different brands that they represent. So what has happened is we've started at Lego, we found something that's working, we validated very quickly that it's a brand that we should look at. We would know that going in, but it's good to validate it the way we have with this uh, online search method. And then we came back here and we found this company based upon the fact we look at Wholesale Distributor USA, we would look to open up an account with a company like this, which is totally free to do so. And then we would look to see, well, what Lego products do they have? But the thing is, they're going to have lots of other stuff and we can then use some of our research to go and see, are these good opportunities? But for the purpose of today's video, it was really just to give you that overview of how we're going to go about it, how we're going to make money, how we're going to get access to the buy box, what do we have to do? Obviously, there's there's more to it that we can move into, but I don't want to go too much further today, like I just said. So a massive thank you to Stefan for having us on the channel here. We love making content like this, and I hope you learned a lot. I cannot wait to be back. I know there's a lot of exciting things that we have planned for you that we're hopefully going to get to do together in the very near future. So yeah, thanks. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, thank you so much, Stephen, for that training and those examples. Hopefully those of you that watched it uh, got a good understanding and some good value from this to get an idea of how this model works and uh, whether or not it's something that resonates with you. I know you probably have more questions, you wanna know more about it. And so Stephen uh, offered to do a webinar training that's gonna go more in depth into this method. He does have a program and a training that he does offer people as well. So that is available if you do uh, choose to want to work with Steven and go deeper with him. Uh, but I'll put a link below in the description to that webinar. It's only available for a limited time, or you can go to www.projectlifemastery.com slash MPS, MPS, and uh, you can register, grab your spot there. So that will allow you to go more in depth and then stay tuned for the interview that I did with Steven where we go even more in depth answering a lot of the typical questions that you might have such as how much time is involved in this, you know, who can do this, who is this for, who is this not for, um, you know, if you live in this part of the world, you know, is this an opportunity that you can take advantage of, how much money is involved in getting started with this, uh, to just more typical questions that I think someone brand new to this would want to know. And so there'll be a lot answered in the webinar training that Steven's providing as well as Q and A during that as well, if you want to ask him your questions, but uh, I'm going to throw up here on YouTube, another interview that does go more in depth uh, for those that want to learn more. So uh, make sure that you register, stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.